Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be talking about the import situation kind of once again. Uh, I mean, there's just some new updates and stuff. People are saying some new things uh, and I don't exactly know what to make of all of it. I mean, I'm still not exactly sure how I feel feel about everything but i'll be giving some of my thoughts and opinions in this video trying to you know voice what i'm thinking uh, and what i think is going to happen going forward as, as best as i can um but also definitely want to get your guys thoughts and opinions and everything in the comment section down below that'd be awesome to kind of go back and forth um so uh, just kind of in full review it all starts uh with these these tweets from vulcan uh what is this is like a week ago it seems like way longer than this at this point this whole saga has just been like never ending uh of, like jack and reggie and steve and vulcan and g2 guys and lcs cat and reddit and twitter like oh it's been exhausting it seems like it's been way way longer than six days but i guess this was six days ago uh you know he tweeted if you want a full import team go buy a team in that region xd he said full damn one comes to na plays on 60 ping the whole year do they beat the top lpl team they don't and i thought those were good tweets i thought they were funny and then you know here reggie responds with one of the worst uh league of legends at least related tweets uh, maybe that i've ever seen he says ignorant tweet if every lcs team uh left the lcs you'll be out of a job buddy and probably paid minimum and you know twitter took it reddit took it everybody took it and ran with it i mean he got a ton of hate he got a ton of big responses um and some people were saying it kind of was like good timing for like jack and cloud nine and stuff because jack was saying some equally as ridiculous uh and ignorant and just wrong nasty things at the same time um but honestly reggie came and saved the day and took a lot of the the criticism and spotlight away from like uh, jack and c9 and even steve and some of the other lcs owners um who are saying you know maybe not as like outwardly as blatantly dumb things like on a public forum like this and this tweet has still not been deleted uh also which is kind of crazy and uh, left a lot of people surprised um what I did think was at least good to see was that, uh, the you know, a, a ton of the community came out in defense. I really like to see this tweet from Grabs and everything. He said, I'm late to this party. I mean, this was this was like a day after. Uh, he said, I'm late to the party, but this is too meme-worthy not to react to it. If there was no LCS, Vulcan would be 10 times more relevant than TSM in an environment where performance matters. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was hilarious. Um, the LEC in Europe has some incentive in this whole situation as well. Like, if the import, uh, I can't even talk, if the import rule is removed, uh, you will see more European players kind of getting stolen away and prodded away and, and pried out and money thrown at them. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, Europe would try and import around a little bit, I'm sure as well. But I mean, they already don't even use their import slots. So like Europe doesn't really gain much of anything. You know, it's going to be a bad thing overall for Europe. So yes, it was great to meme uh, TSM. Yes, it made grabs. You know, it got him 4,000 likes on Twitter. Obviously, the community was going to be behind him. Um, but G2 does have some incentive and stuff there as well. And I know Carlos kind of got involved. Um, we see a bunch of awesome replies on this thread. You know, this tweet went 0 and 6 from Flowers. Uh, you saying I'd work at McDonald's, man. It, spa it spawned all the McDonald's memes and stuff that we saw kind of for you know the next week or so uh carlos getting his words in there dash I, I mean everyone was just taking shots at reggie it was really like low-hanging fruit it was really really easy uh, but anyway that gets us to the point where today reggie uh had this to say he said uh tweeted out this is a, a little bit less than an hour ago spoke to vulcan and apologized for my tweet I wanted to clarify that I'm at LCS minimum, 75k, and will post something longer to explain my thoughts. Glad that we talked about it, though, uh, and he didn't take it personally. I'll be more thoughtful moving forward and learn from this. To which I responded, you know, thank you for this, Reggie. I promise the community uh, and TSM fans appreciate it and notice this. Uh, and then, you know, this guy, he's yeah, he's got 18 likes. He said, no, we don't. It's PR bullshit. And he clearly meant uh, what we all understood. And, and I don't even think that's necessarily a response to what I said. Um, yes, is it probably PR bullshit? yes but i still think it is good if he did speak to vulcan if he did apologize uh i mean that's great and, and i do appreciate that and i do notice that i didn't say that i forgive him i didn't say i think he's right in the whole situation i didn't say that this changes how i view reggie or anything like that i just said uh that i do appreciate it and i notice it and i think the community and tsm fans should as well this is at least a step in the right direction obviously he put himself you know the whole situation is his fault he put himself in a stupid dumb situation uh with not a lot of great options he dug himself a hole he kind of doubled down tripled down quadrupled down with more and more tweets about the whole situation um 
And uh, yeah, obviously I do think he, I, I do believe that he meant what he tweeted and everything. And yeah, he's probably not uh, sorry about it or, or whatever, but it does still, you know, he had to man up. He had to speak to Vulcan. Seems like they hashed things out. You know, Vulcan's all cool with it. I'm sure he never took offense to it in the first place. And that's really cool of Vulcan. You know, who who gives a shit what Reggie has to say? You know, he's a, a professional player. He has money. I'm sure he's very confident in his abilities and his life and what he's got going on. Uh, and he knows that uh, whatever Reggie says, you know, if all the teams did leave the LCS or whatever, he knows um, what he's worth. He knows his value. Um, but one thing is that people were saying uh you meant uh that uh you know they don't believe what he's saying as far as he meant the lcs minimum um and i don't know because people were saying he meant minimum wage but i don't he didn't say minimum wage he said the minimum so i actually do kind of agree with reggie there that he did mean the lcs minimum um yes i think the mcdonald's stuff is way funnier and i think minimum wage is a funnier joke and i think that's kind of the angle vulcan kind of took with it and ran um but i do think he meant kind of a league minimum somewhere but again that, that also doesn't really make sense because he did say if all the teams left the LCS, which would mean there is no LCS left, but I think then he meant that he'd have to go somewhere else. You know, he wouldn't be able to get a big check. He'd be making um, much less money. Obviously, uh, he has value as like an import uh, here in the United States, and, and that's kind of inflating salaries. And, uh, you know, who knows? Um, but people are kind of, I think, still like th these comments are just still throwing a ton of shade at TSM. And again, not that they don't deserve it. Um, like, I don't care shit org. Um, you know, I don't know. Just a, a bunch of, you know, nice PR tweet. People just kind of really still like flaming TSM and stuff and that's great you know like i said i don't necessarily forgive reggie i don't necessarily think this like fixes things or or makes things you know all the way right or whatever and i still know how he feels about the import rule and how i still definitely disagree with all the stuff he's saying but i do think this is at least a step in the right direction now we will see what reggie does going forward are we going to get more idiotic stuff from him is he going to keep doing dumb stuff uh is he going to you know take some advice from his pr team or is he maybe going to change because at the end of the day it is possible for people to change is po uh, possible for people to see uh kind of the wrong in their their actions and in their ways and yeah maybe that's a very very optimistic look uh and maybe i don't even believe that's necessarily what's going to happen but again i thought this was a good tweet it's at least a step in the right direction it doesn't forgive everything that happened but uh i mean hey what are you going to do I, I did think it was at least interesting uh again it's great that vulcan uh is kind of you know cool with everything and i'm glad uh you know at the end of the day it's just some that part of it was really really stupid drama uh and i'm glad that they can kind of move on from that uh a little bit but in the end i do think that the lcs owners are in a really really weird position that's making them say kind of these crazy outlandish things um because they are getting a ton of flack from the community like people on reddit and twitter and uh everywhere and their discords on their on their subreddits and stuff letting them know how they feel and that they don't like what the owners are doing they don't like what the owners are saying they don't um like that they're trying to get rid of the import rule and they're telling them you know i would watch less games i'm going to spend less money if reggie keeps saying the stupid shit like i'm not going to buy tsm merch anymore i'm not going to watch tsm games i'm not going to um you know subscribe to your youtube and your like all this stuff and and can uh just watch all this content and, and all these things and and so that's kind of the, the stuff they're getting from one side. But then the other side is that, uh, you know, the owners are doing this at the end of the day, trying to remove the import rule to to try and save money. Uh, they they have inflated the salaries and people have been saying this for the past couple of years. They've been inflating the salaries at an unsustainable rate. And that salaries have gone up and up and up and up and up. And you can see what happened this off season. Perks, the amount of money he got. Sword Art, the amount of money he got. That stuff is not sustainable, especially for uh, esports organizations and League of Legends teams that don't even make a profit. Again, uh, the, the latest stat that we really heard was that TSM might be the only team uh, actually pulling a profit in the LCS, maybe in the LCS and the LEC combined. I don't know um, how G2, it seems like they've been doing some good things the last couple of years to maybe get on the right track. But um, I mean, we know that a lot of these teams are struggling and especially in the LCS, they continue to spend more and more money to try to stay relevant, to try to stay competitive and all this stuff. Uh, and I'm sure they're feeling the pressure from that side of it as well. So, you know, they're getting backlash from the fans. Um, and they're kind of being trapped in a corner. And yeah, I'm sure it's stressing them out. I'm sure it's tough decisions. It's making them say weird, irrational things. And at the end of the day, you know, these are maybe just not amazing people either. Like we've seen uh, gross, weird comments from Jack in the past and Reggie and Steve. And, you know, they're they're businessmen. They're greedy. They're uh, just dis, dis, like detached from like reality and, and the common people and stuff. And I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. Um, but I was definitely surprised uh, to see an apology like this from Reggie. And uh, I don't know 
don't know. I was surprised. I do think it is a step in the right direction. I, I think it's interesting. Uh, and it was kind of cool to see. I mean, I'm glad he at least didn't tweet out another stupid thing. You know, when I when I see a tweet from Reggie uh, lately, it's been imports, 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 or oh wow, congrats, Dignitas, you guys are really doing good, or oh Vulcan, you'd work at McDonald's. You know, like that's kind of what we've been seeing in the past. And and he just se seemed so willing to just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And I'm at least glad to see maybe hopefully at the very least you know putting a stop to it uh, again whether he believes it or is his pr team or whatever uh, i mean you can just keep burying it on top of him but i mean he's at least taking a step in the right direction doing something good uh but again that's just kind of what i think about it uh the pretty much of this video today guys definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it i'd appreciate it so so much it really helps out the youtube algorithm uh leave a comment down below what do you think about this whole situation you think this was a good idea to tweet this out from reggie you think he just should have ignored it left it alone you think it's pr bullshit like, i don't know i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions um i don't really know what happens from here i i am definitely excited to hear his longer thoughts about the issue and I, I will at least read them and you know entertain them again I, I don't think anything he could say is going to write anything that's happened uh, especially in the minds of a lot of people you know he's shown to kind of be an asshole through the situation uh, he said some very very unpopular things some very hurtful things um, and a lot of people didn't like him already so it's just kind of adding fuel to the fire kind of adding things on top and on top and on top uh, but it's definitely a bad look for the LCS a bad look for TSM a bad look for just himself for his own personal brand for everything they have going on uh, uh, bad look for the League of Legends community. So, I mean, I hope we can move on from this. I hope things can get better. I hope we can, uh, you know, kind of just get over all these idiotic comments and stuff. But again, the issue is still going to be there at the end of the day with the import rule. Um, and the owners are still going to be pushing for that. They're still going to be talking about this. So this is for sure not the end, but hopefully we can at least uh, talk about it in more intelligent ways in the future uh, and less disrespectful ways in the future. And I think that'd be great. Subscribe to it on all my latest content. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.